Starting from, from the beginning and I guess working backwards, I started at Iona um, back in 2016. Uh, so I've been here for seven years now. Um, and I actually grew up near the area. So I grew up in Rockland County, which a lot of folks don't know they know where that is. That's on the other side of the Tappan Zee Bridge. The, the, uh, the Governor Cuomo Bridge. The Governor Cuomo Bridge. Well, in the old Tappan Zee Bridge. The old Tappan Zee still, Bridge. Right? Um, yeah, and so uh, from there I went to college uh, in Cleveland uh, at Case Western Reserve University. Um, I studied chemistry there, and after graduating, um, I worked for two years as a lab technician in a lab in um, molecular biology. From there, I moved to Hamburg, Germany for two years, where I worked as a technician in a lab studying the hepatitis B virus and trying to generate animal models for um, liver regeneration and liver transplantation so that we could have small animal models for the hepatitis B and C viruses. Mm -hmm. That's where I kind of caught the biology bug, as it, not the hepatitis bug, but the biology bug <laughs> as it were. Um, and uh, so four years out of college, I went back to graduate school. And so in 2002, I moved to Baltimore. Um, I went into a PhD program at Johns Hopkins University um, at the School of Medicine, and I got my PhD in cell biology. Uh, so there I was studying um, basic features of cell biology, which is how cells are kind of self-organized. We recognize in living systems that what distinguishes something living from non-living is that we are really highly organized. We are really non-random, right? We are not chemical reactions happening in a beaker or in a test tube. We um, are very specific. And there are no top-down instructions to explain how we should become so well organized. So there are some really big developmental and cell biology questions um, that are um, basically addressed from the perspective of self-organization. So I was looking at the activity of the Golgi body, the Golgi apparatus. I don't want to put you on the spot, but most people, if they remember anything about the Golgi, it's the stack of pancakes, right? Correct, so yeah. I, spent, uh, I spent six and a half years studying the activity of one protein at that stack of pancakes and, and basically what it does. Um, and from there, I uh, was a postdoc also at Hopkins um, at the School of Public Health. And that's where I made the transition to microbiology and started working in a bacterial system. So I was there for about six or seven years before coming to Iona and I brought that research program on bacteria uh, with me to Iona.